Historically, Duluth has had high voter turnout rates. In the past five elections, turnout has never been lower than 72%. Now, this is especially impressive when you look at America as a whole. As a country, America has not been over 70% voter turnout at any point since 1980. However, there is a portion of Duluth that has been consistently behind the curve. And I mean way behind. Take a look at this. This is a table from the city of Duluth outlining the voter turnout records for the 2020 general election. Now, check out precinct 10. This is UMD. Over the past five major election cycles, the 10th precinct has been the lowest in voter turnout every year with the exception of 2016. However, over the same amount of time, it has had some of the highest numbers of new voter registration and in 2020, it took the top spot of any Duluth precinct. This is most likely due to the nature of the precinct. We have so many new students showing up at UMD every year, students who probably have never voted before and probably have never registered. This causes our registration numbers to go up. But why then would it we still be the lowest in voter turnout if we have the highest number of registrants? I talked to Raylan Carsons, the president of the College Democrats at UMD, about this issue. I asked her about this trend and she gave me some insight as to why this might be. Quote, younger generations are ready for more progressive candidates and sometimes do not feel a connection to moderate Democrats. I believe that this partially affects turnout. Beyond candidate options, college students need to re-register every time they move, often do not have cars or reliable transportation, may not have had the education to know how to vote, and in some states are not able to do same-day registration. It will be up to students to change this trend in coming elections.